forward. So this is Dino Charge episode two review. We will get the first one out. Uh, this one kind of ran in um, as I was busy working on PowerCon stuff, but we're gonna jump straight into it. So this episode is all about Riley and how he becomes the green uh, Dino Charge Ranger. So let's start off. He is practicing his fencing skills or his sword skills within his kind of barn and he's going at it and he's pretty good at it. His brother comes along and he's like, what the hell are you doing? He's going, I'm not nothing, I'm not playing, I'm not doing anything. And his brother's like, yeah, right, about that one? Yeah, you ain't doing that. He doesn't say that, but <laughs> apparently in my head he does. So Riley then throws away his sword um, and sticks it into this, like, uh, I think it's a tire or the wood at least. And then he's looking for his dog. His dog's running away and he goes into the kind of um, into the, the forest. You have Fury coming along and he's like, hey, what the hell are you doing, dog? I'm going to attack you. I'm going to hit you with my sword. Hit you with my sword, son. And then Riley jumps in. Apparently he finds just metal stuff. Apparently in this season of Power Rangers, there's just litter. There's empty, open caves. Everything you can think of. Boom, it's here. Um, so he pretty much picks it up. He attacks Fury with his kind of like his, um, his metal sword of power, we're going to call it. And he starts fighting. All of a sudden, Boom, his sword goes straight into a rock. How convenient that there's a dinosaur fossil there. As he's pulling out his uh, sword, he can't do it, it's stuck. But the energy gem charges up and it sends the energy to the actual sword and bam, turns him into the dino saber. This is coming up later on in the episode, which is gonna be a, ah, that's pretty cool. So this all happens um, and suddenly he's able to attack Fury faster, quicker and more powerful with the sword. And Fury's like, oh, how do you do this? He's like, ah, I think. <laughs> uh, then at the end, he grabs the energy, the Riley that is, not Fury, and he gets infused with this and boom, he becomes the uh, Green Ranger, but not transform wise until you see it later on. Then when he returns back to his family, he's like, hey, I'm gonna go. He's already spoken to his mum, and his brother finds this like this leaflet inside like, dinosaur exhibition. Why is he going there? Oh, I wonder what that's all for. You would know. Put your comments down below if you know. <laughs> that's actually quite good. Um, so they explain that he's gonna come back after the summer. And his brother goes, yeah, I've checked out this moped or this scooter. It's absolutely fine, 100% perfect. Here is the manual. And again, you kind of think Riley is the type of guy that would listen and say, like, you can do this. Okay, I'm only going to do what you say, big brother or mum or dad. I'm only going to follow what you say. You have Tyler and you have Shelby. And they are in the, the car talking and it's having quite a little bit of banter. She's like, well, how did these get here? And Tyler's like, well, maybe, maybe the dinosaurs ate it. I think that's the thing. Maybe they decide to have some food and then they died and then it's therefore in them. And she's like, oh, that's silly. And he's like, well, can you give a better excuse? I, can you give a better example? Because I think that's right. And she's like, oh. So they meet Riley, he, you know, his, his scooter's crashed or his scooter's powered down. There isn't anything there. Thanks, big brother, for checking it over. I bet that's one last day. He's like, mur, mur, mur. my brother's leaving. So he's gonna have a really bad time. So they say, hey, can we help? He's like, no, 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 I've got the manual and then the car drives past, knock, you know, kind of like the breeze and, or the wind, knocks the, like the, the manual out of his hand. He's like, eh. So they load it up and he's in the car and then they're talking again. And when they arrive at the kind of museum, they see uh, Chase and Coda kind of walking away, um, talking about random things. And then again, it's like, wow, there's a massive T-Rex. Woo, this is gonna be cool. And of course, Tyler has to get his selfie. I wonder if this is gonna be in every single kind of like episode. It's like, oh, we gotta take a selfie, gotta take a photo at least. I just say, oh, well, you know, do you really, you know, at a time like this? He's like, well, yeah, okay, just take a photo. Pulls a tooth, falls into it, and the best thing in all of range, I think, there's a slide to get in the base. I was about to go on that again. I am going on this slide. You can't stop me, guys. You hells yeah, I'm always on this. Apparently, I would be the best ranger for slides. You know, slide mode, power up! <sighs> something, something like that. <laughs> With all this, they find this like, amazing base, and I've got to admit, it looks really cool. It kind of reminds me, and I hate to say it, of the Operation Overdrive, but that if, they, if like, it had like lots more money. And it looks absolutely amazing. Um, they find that uh, the two other NGMs, you have the black and you have blue. And again, they, they're NGMs. They actually return back to this kind of thing and kind of stay in it. So they're wondering what's happening. The Keeper comes out and oh my God, the Keeper. Why Keeper are you so creepy weird? You are creepy weird. I do not like you creepy weird. Mm -mm -mm. Do not like. <laughs> so the Keeper then explains what's happening. What 
are you doing with this? You know, who he is, what the energy gems are, and everything is uh, effectively. And this is one thing I didn't understand next part. You got Coda and Chase and Kendall that all come out and go like, well, you know, this is the base, this is what the keeper we've, he's been here for so long time. But congratulations guys, you're Power Rangers. And then Shelby's like, Power Rangers? Like, she's never heard of them. And oh my God. At some point, you think this joke would get old. I could understand if, like, in space, when um, Andrews goes, "You're planetary rangers," like he doesn't know that they're planet-side rangers. And I, I can understand up to a certain point, but there is a thing called the internet and the news and everything. And oh my god, if Shelby turns around in the team up, the Super Mega Force team up, and goes, "You're the other rangers," I'm gonna be like, "No, no, no." At the end of the day. And it's now on to around about 22 years. At some point, they would have seen Power Rangers, even if it's on the news. Giant monsters attacking the city. What? You know, and spandex heroes. You would have heard this. Oh, even the monster at the very beginning went, Rangers? No. So this is the time when they all need a pep talk. Kendall then goes around to the others and says, yeah, Ch uh, Tyler, you got yours for defending and saving someone. Uh, Chase, you are very good. You, you know, the same pretty much. I don't know why you're chosen Shelby and she's like picks on it. I don't know if she's jealous or if this is going to be a thing uh, maybe like Shelby didn't prove herself in while working as a, a, a waitress um, and so the monsters that come down and start attacking and the rangers have to run off. Kendall then turns around and goes well I would be worried if I was a waitress or something along the lines to give her a pep talk and it works. Huzzah! Kendall is like yay. Boom. Booyah. Um, so the rangers kind of go off on their own and then see a massive volcano blowing up again! Why is why does no one know about these things? Why does no one put, like get people away or corner off these things because of a volcano? At this point in time, there's a problem with the red energem. There is some sort of interference. Um, this could be the T-Rex. I don't understand why, because it could be like, look Tyler, can you stay behind? We need to kind of talk about this. We need to kind of sort things out before you go off. You know. But they explain what the batteries are, you know, for the battle gear, for the Zords, for everything. And then suddenly the Red Energy can go straight to his hand. So I don't know what it was, what the interference was. Um, I could understand if it was the next part because as the T-Rex is going to the city, you have all the little minions, they can grow into big massive monsters. And you know, the T-Rex is attacking. You've got the frozen monster, he then freezes him and you think that could be the way of saying this interference. But no. So Tyler runs, um, the monster's like, oh, your sword has been frozen. And Tyler just throws it in, just nonchalantly, woo, catches it because it breaks the ice. And then he uh, morphs straight into the ranger. And I have to admit, I like the morph scene so much. It's actually quite cool. It's possibly, I think, one of my favorite ones. Then the other rangers come up, and this part made me laugh. I'm hoping that they're gonna keep a little bit of comedy in. Riley's saying it's morphing time, and Shelby's like, look, boys, I know how to do this. I know how to do everything. And she put a battery and Coda Co walks up and goes, um, you, you kind of need to uh, push the, uh, the button at the top. Yeah, push the button, push it. And that's how you do it. And she's like, oh, I know that or something. And then they all morph. And I like, it looked a bit busy on the screen with all the dinosaurs going across and then transforming into rangers. But I liked what they did. It was fantastic and I liked the visual effects. I think this has got to be the actual, out of all the Power Rangers series I've seen, this has got to be the best one with visual effects so far. I say that now, next year, bam, it'll be the same thing. The best one ever! This is where you find out about fighting skills, the fighting types, what they do. And again, you can see the green uh, Riley going, yeah, I'm so glad that my, um, that my sword, you know, all these skills paid off. And then again, you see all the other ranges attack. Now he calls him Rexy. This is going back because when the Red Ranger goes, go Rexy, go attack. I was like, oh, it's have given him a name. Does he need a name? Ow. Does he need a name? No, but it's cute. So we'll allow it for an until it annoys me. So Rexy goes and attacks the, the big monster minion guy. And at first it looks like they're kissing. It's like, mwah, mwah. no, he attacks him. More fighting down below. Bam, 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 knocks them all out. Red Ranger is fighting the frozen guy and he's going for it. Um, all of a sudden, um, Rexy then grabs this big monster, he bites him, spins him around, does a backflip for a roll, whatever you want to call it, and the minion dies, and the Red Ranger beats the frozen guy. So this is pretty much it. That is most of the episode done. This last part, you see Keeper, he's worried. He's like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. But you know that Sledge is back. Sledge is now in orbit. He is going to attack, but the Rangers have to first of all talk. Um, Riley says, oh, I can't wait to tell my brother about this. And Kendra's like, no, no, you can't tell them 
anything about this. You know, it, it, we have to keep this a secret. And I like this because it did remind me of Mighty Morphin. And we're gonna kind of recap this at the very end. So then you got Sledge, he's in orbit, and he's like, right guys, and he's talking to all the monsters, and we kind of figured this one out straight away. And I think a lot of the range community said the same thing. It's like, they're all locked up. I reckon he's gonna turn around and say, right, if you wanna buy your freedom, then all you have to do is turn around and beat the Power Ranger, kill me a Power Ranger, beat me a Power Ranger, bring me a Power Ranger, whatever, and then I'll let you go. And I think this is a really cool thing because you have your entire army. And again, this kind of reminds me a lot of Time Force. It seems that they're taking a lot from Time Force on this one. At the very end, bam, that's it. You have the end of the series. And I like that. I like the fact that it's progressing. You've seen more of Sledge. He's now come into it. He's not being overdone just yet. And again, there's loads of things. I like the fact that Shelby is kind of the comical character. She is a character that kind of people will pick on, but you know that she's going to be at some point, stop it, you know, I'm doing this. And they're all going to turn around and go, well, we're trying to help you. We're trying to make sure that you are the best ranger that you can be. You, know, you had no confidence, now you are this amazing person. So I kind of see what they're doing. They're going to kind of build up um, the confidence. And at some point, you'll have a, oh, I can't do it. I'm losing my courage. I don't want to be a power ranger. So this is what's going to happen. I think that this series is going to be good. There's comical effects, there's a really deep storyline, and you know, you're finding out more and more about the characters, but they're not giving you everything straight away. It does remind me a little bit of Mighty Morphing when you've got the you can't tell anyone your secret. This is going to be interesting because how is Shelby going to get out of work? I'm going to have to nip off. Shelby, you do this every single week. What the hell are you doing? Shelby, can you please stop it? I'm sorry, but no, it carries on. So this is going to be an interesting ser uh, series. I'm kind of really looking forward to watching it all, kind of seeing what happens and how the story progresses. So it's now your turn, Rangers. Yes, you are my Rangers. What do you think about this? Are you enjoying Dino Charge so far? What do you think about this episode? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna try and do a review weekly. Um, the first one's gonna be up first, and then the second one straight after. Um, if you've liked this video, check out Yatta Games and all that goodness. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.